So, I've had a lot of requests for disassembly video on this 3000 watt pure sine wave Chinese inverter. Everybody's curious about the components inside. So, we're going to take it apart and take a look what's inside. So, just with four screws, two on each side, this top pops right off. Uh, it did, a second ago. I have not completely opened this off yet. Let's see if there's anything attached. Nope, looks like we're good. Look at that. These things don't even. Oh, yeah, they do. Uh, no, they don't. This inverter doesn't even heat sink to the outside case, which is kind of a pain. It's nice that the inverter itself won't get hot, and they do have these massive heat sinks. Like, look at this one. Focus. There we go. <coughs> so it looks like we have five transformers. We have a sticker on them that says 3200 watts. Wonder if that's true or not. But here's the inside. Here is the output plug. It is not grounded. It only has the two. Um, it has the neutral and the live hooked up, and that's it. So this is not in any way grounded to the case. It's very interesting. Uh, I've got some unheat synced, uh, most likely diodes down there. They're using them as diodes. <coughs> okay, and here's all the fuses. So, looks like each transformer has 15 amps worth of fuse. And it looks like the transformers are fused individually, which is interesting. They are replaceable fuses, as you can see. I can zoom in for you guys. So they're replaceable, which is nice. Uh, they give you spare fuses, which is also nice. That means this thing is capable of blowing fuses if you're giving you spare fuses. There's the last one for the transformer. And looks like this is the temperature sensor. This must be the, this looks like it's the output board. Where's the MOSFETs? Let's see if we can see them. There's quite a few MOSFETs on this, that's nice. It means they're actually doing their job and making this heavy duty enough to do 3,000 watts. I can't see the brand really. Those are the MOSFETs there. And then, someone was saying the input caps, or no, these are the output caps. These are 250 volts. There we go. So maybe this is the output side. They have the temperature sensor on the output, not on the input. Maybe because they uh, heat synced the input properly, where the output actually gets hotter faster. I don't know. But this is a massive heat sink. I really like it. So this looks like it's the output side, output caps, and the inputs. They are 100 volt caps. Wow, that is awesome. I'm glad uh, they're not 60 volts. As uh, someone said in the comments, that's very good. 100 volt caps. Each transformer's got its own two caps all the way across. That's great. And now what's in here? It looks like some more MOSFETs for something. There's another four under here. So I wonder if this is all... <coughs> I wonder if this is all like one bridge together. And then this is the input. I'm going to spin this around see if we can see the input side. Well, you can't see anything. Oh, too bad. They're all hidden underneath a little pocket down in there. And I don't really want to take it any further apart. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. Everything looks really well put together. The board is... Is this coated? Feels like it's coated. 
Anyways, I'm not 100% sure. They glue down like this mass of whatever this is, inductor or something. It's all glued down, so it's not going to move. Uh, this one is not glued down, but it feels like it's firmly attached. But if this was high vibration, something like this could break off. And look at that. We have a pot. I wonder what that controls. It would be amazing if it didn't control the voltage. And there's another pot over here. So maybe one's frequency, one's voltage. That would be fantastic if you can control that. And, uh, yeah. So I can give you guys focus in here to get the best picture for everyone to see. Input cables. Looks like I don't even know what this is. 12 gauge, 12 gauge per transformer. So that's adequate. Connection is solid. Connection on the negative is solid. Um, I really can't. I don't see anything worth complaining on this. Uh, board. This actually seems like a fairly well put together unit. They're really good for Chinese. That fuse wasn't completely seated perfectly. Other than that, I don't see anything wrong with this. I'm actually pretty impressed. Other than the fact I don't like that this isn't grounded, but I could run my own ground. The ground's right there. It can either run it to the case. I'm going to run it just outside the unit and ground it myself. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and uh, hit the like button if you enjoy my videos, thanks.